Well, hey. So, as you know, we all get angry, anxious, activated, or shut down. This is life on planet Earth, right? But what if we could learn to bounce back from it? What if we could use these triggers to become a better human, feel safer, and be in the world with a confident voice? In this episode, I'll start by talking about dysregulation. This is what happens when we're angry, sad, anxious, or generally not feeling so good. Then I'll be guiding you into regulation, which is the process of turning these bad feelings around and developing resiliency and confidence. And finally, I'll show you how to turn all of this into a superpower that you can share with the world. So, dysregulation. We all know what it feels like. It could be anxiety gnawing away in the pit of your stomach, or rage filling your mind with angry thoughts and activating your body. As a byproduct, some of us regularly feel depressed, numb, or paralyzed. Now, when we're facing a genuine threat, anxiety and rage are nervous system states designed to ensure your survival, essential, like surviving an attack by a saber-toothed tiger. But when we regularly feel them, even though there's nothing immediately threatening us, we've become dysregulated. Depression or numbing out can follow. And persistent dysregulation is not a fun way to live. And when we're dysregulated, so can our voices suffer. If our voices are consistently dysregulated, we are more prone to lashing out or clamping up, raging against or attacking the ones we love, or freezing at the very moment we need to speak up. And make no mistake, dysregulation has measurable effects. Life patterns, for example, where you leave difficult situations because you struggle to speak up for yourself or you struggle to express your boundaries. And much of this can be attributed to unchecked dysregulation. You could call this a negative feedback loop where your nervous system dysregulation triggers vocal issues, which in turn trigger more dysregulation. Then down we go, a beautiful downward spiral, and our life takes a turn for the worst. The good news is that there is a cure, because it's within our power to turn a negative feedback loop into a positive one. Makes sense, right? Gotta know there's a switch before you flip it. And friends, the switch is regulation. From dysregulation to regulation. Simply put, regulation means to consistently use practices to get out of that numb freeze or that raging wrecking ball state. Practices which open the gateway to the yummy, safe, home-like dimension of the miracle, which is your optimal nervous system. To be clear, you can and should manage your nervous system state. You don't have to be a victim of it. And the key to this is to know how to work with your vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S. Ah, the vagus nerve, your new best friend. It's also been called the soul nerve, but what is it? The vagus descends out of the brainstem to the voice where it regulates communication, but also goes down through the heart and lungs and then down into the belly, all the organs of the belly. The important thing to remember is that you can tone the vagus. Isn't that cool? Indeed, a well-toned vagus is the, uh, the key to feeling grounded, happy, and safe in the world. Technically, it's called a ventral vagal state. How do you know you're in a ventral vagal state? You feel grounded, present, open, curious, compassionate, mindful, and peaceful, even joyful ventral vagal states. But how can you access these states? You guessed it, via regulation. In particular, by regulating your nervous system. Powerful self-regulation practices can improve vagal tone and heal voices at the same time. For example, I like to hum every morning and also make sound when I feel stressed. Mmm, ah, whatever needs to come out. You could hum, chant, sing mantras, or better still, sing in a group. All of these practices will create a positive feedback loop which tones the vagus and empowers your voice at the same time. Other techniques to improve vagal tone include somatic practices, body practices like EFT and TRE, exercise, meditation, breath work, body work, and massage, and even cold exposure, which is so in vogue. So whenever you get triggered, do these practices. 
to do these practices when stressed is to cultivate resilience. That's what we want. Resilience in the face of inevitable triggering that life brings because, hey, life. They'll help you bounce back faster. Do them and develop the discipline and confidence of coming home over and over again. Do these practices every day to abide in happier, more grounded states. And a quick caveat, of course, the long-term work includes dealing with what is triggering us in the first place. Especially when we're carrying developmental wounding, trauma, or negative conditioning that keeps coming up to take us down. For this, we need deeper healing, which might include therapy, EMDR, trauma techniques, uh, body work, and energy medicine. I'm a huge fan of EMDR, TRE, and EFT, tapping. So there's dysregulation, which throws your life off course, and then there's regulation, which brings you home and develops resilience. But the journey towards fundamental vocal well-being doesn't end here. To enter the higher planes of expression, you will ultimately want to level up. And this means learning to co-regulate. Because as you become more confident with self-regulating your nervous system, you'll find yourself feeling safer and safer and in yourself with other human beings. This is where compassion, joy, and connection arise. The renowned behavioral neuroscientist Stephen Porges describes this state as social engagement, a playful mixture of activation, I'm excited to see you, and calming, I'm grounded and in myself. So the social engagement system is actually this incredible two-way interaction. It happens between me and you. Where does it happen in our bodies? Mainly in the eyes, ears, larynx, and mouth. Uh, But it also involves the entire face and the torso above the diaphragm. And your voice is a huge component. You could call it a symphony. All 12 cranial nerves participate in the action here. So co-regulation is a symphony of the nervous system. And here's the amazing part. From the symphonic state of co-regulation, we stop hiding and we can share our gifts with the world. This is truly coming home. So in summary, this is a human life where we inevitably get angry, anxious and dysregulated. But we can learn to feel confident, to self-regulate back to safety. We can use tools of resilience that include humming, singing and lots more. And to up-level it all, let's co-regulate with other human beings, with each other. Remember, to enjoy social engagement and connection is to express your unique talents in this short life and have them received for the greater good. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're done. Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye for now.